Um, so we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we use our easy seats to help relax and wind down our mind and our bodies. As our buttocks connects to the earth, our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Slightly gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes, if that feels good for you. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. As we relax here, silent meditation for five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, allowing our palms to relax on the earth. We are using our palms to connect to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms flows upwards towards the heavens, palms are together, we are in that salute. If we should separate our palms, we are in that extended mountain, seated extended mountain, palms are separated, seated salute, palms are together. Exhaling our palms down to prayer. Flowing back up to that salute. Palms flows above our head. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, we are in our seated twist. Allowing this twist to relax and soothe that spine. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come down, slightly gazing over that left shoulder. Seated twist opposite side. Relaxing here for three breaths of silence. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that star. Coming into that seated extended mountain. Exhaling to salute, palms together. Breathing down to prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Eyes are gazed downward towards the earth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, this here is a hip opener. We ever have clients who have tight hips, we can put them into a diamond or a butterfly. 
to help relax and soothe their inner thighs. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. We're taking a moment to notice the difference between the two because they look very similar. And if we're able, we can slightly hinge at the hips. It's allowing that body to lean forward, noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it a little deeper here in your inner thighs. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go downward. And if we're able, we can allow our shoulders to melt forward as our head melts downward towards our feet, coming deeper into that pose. We're going to relax here for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly, using our hands to bring our legs inward, straightening our feet. We're in that staff pose, legs are parallel side by side. Feet, toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Our backs are straight, palms are relaxed on our laps as we are gaze forward. Take a nice subtle breath here. As we point our toes downward towards the earth, coming into that ballerina's foot, slightly hinging at the hips, if that feels good. Now we are in our seated half forward fold, or we can connect our hands to our ankles or our feet, coming into that seated forward fold. As our shoulders melt forward and our head relaxes downward towards our knees, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our half forward fold, coming back up to that staff pose, relaxing and soothing as we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing our finger with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back, feeling this in the lumbar spine. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms at heart center. Gaze forwards, going inward, three breaths. Two breaths. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our hands and our knees, tabletop pose. Our palms are flat on the earth. Our knees are hip distance apart. And we're going to drop down to our cow, allowing that tummy to come downward towards the earth. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Our chin is slightly up. This cow pose here is good for the lumbar spine. We're going to hang out here, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, breathing our chin to our clavicle, tucking our tummy in. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Three breaths. Flowing back to cow. We're going to do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at table as we extend our right leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch, we're going to work on our sunbird pose here. So right legs to the back. We're going to breathe that left arm forward. This is a balancing and strengthening pose. As we are gaze forward, tummies are tight. If we use our balance, we can option to lower our right toes downward towards the earth, if that feels good. We're going to hold this pose. Four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, breathing that knee into that elbow. Back to birds. Knee to elbow. Back to birds. 
knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird, two breaths. Coming back to our table as we drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back. Sunbird opposite side. We're going to breathe that right arm forward. Optioning to lower those left toes down towards the earth for balance. Or we can keep that leg straight to the back. We're going to hold this four breaths as we balance and strengthen. Two more breaths. As we take a nice breath in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to sunbird. Knee to elbow. Thank you guys for joining. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. You're going to hold this two breaths. Coming to our table. As we drop down to cow, exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push the body up to down dog, gazing at the feet. We are building strength. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, if that feels good. We're going to find our pause. We're going to shift that weight forward, high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Flowing onto our tummies, coming into a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged, meaning they are away from our ears. Our chin is up, heart chakras open. This Sphinx pose is a slight back bend. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. As we take a nice breath in. Exhale. As we are using the breath to relax and soothe and regulate the heartbeat. With the eyes slightly gazed downward, may we relax silent meditation or natural breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms next to our torso, lifting our body slightly up. <sighs> We're in that baby cobra. Our, and our baby cobra elbows are bent and our cobra elbows are straighter. This is a deeper back bend. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. So thighs comes off the earth. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Coming back to up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Chin is up. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Coming to a cobra. Allowing our thighs to connect to the earth. We are now in that cobra. Baby cobra, we bend our elbows closer to the earth. Sphinx pose, we are on our forearms. Sphinx pose. So taking a moment to notice how the three poses we just did are very similar. That baby cobra, cobra, and up dog, and sphinx pose. They all look very similar. They all work the arms, the upper parts of the body yet they feel slightly different within the body. So we're going to relax here in the Sphinx pose for a couple more breaths, just taking a moment to go inward, visualizing the poses we just did. Two more breaths. We're going to flow out of this Sphinx pose, coming back to that baby cobra. Palms come towards the earth. Elbows are slightly bent. Baby cobra. Coming into a cobra, straightening those elbows. Deeper back bend. 
Chin is up. Exhale into up dog, untucking those toes, taking the thighs off the earth. Up dog. Exhale back down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. We're gonna find our paws dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. In the puppy pose, our buttocks is high in the air. Our torso comes downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, makes it an extended puppy. With our forehead, third eye chakra connected to the yoga mat. This puppy pose is a relaxation pose that regulates the heartbeat. You may notice that you also feel it in your lumbar spine. It relaxes and soothes the lower parts of the body. With the third eye chakra, the forehead connects to the earth. It also allows the body to go inward, relaxing and soothing. As we continue here in our puppy, five breaths of silence. Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing our palms above our head in a prayer pose, puppy. That feels good. Three more breaths. From this puppy, we're going to flow into a child's pose, widening our legs just a little bit more, allowing our our body to relax between our thighs. Now we're in that puppy pose. Our torso comes closer to the earth. Relaxing between the thighs, arms are extended in front of us. Third eye chakra is connected to the earth. We are now in that puppy pose. I'm sorry, in that child's pose. Noticing how it's very similar to the puppy pose. Allowing the eyes to gaze down with a close as the shoulder blades melts forward into the yoga mat. We're gonna relax and soothe silent meditation for five natural breaths. Optioning to flow into prayer hands if that feels good. Three more breaths. We're gonna flow out of that child's pose, coming back into that puppy pose, bringing our thighs closer together, buttocks is high in the air. We are back in that puppy pose. With our eyes slight and gaze down, we're going to take this time to simply go inward and just take a moment to notice the difference between a child's pose and a puppy pose. Though they look very similar, they may even feel similar in the body, yet they are doing a little bit different. So just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two for three more breaths. Two breaths. Flowing out of that puppy pose, we're going to come into a dolphin pose, lifting our buttocks up in the air. We are on our forearms, gaze to the back of the room. We are in that dolphin pose. Dolphin pose is very similar to a down dog, but in a down dog, we are on our palms, gazing at the back of the room. In a dolphin pose, we are on our forearms, gazing at the back of the room with that buttocks nice and high. The dolphin pose is actually a headstand prep pose. It allows the body to notice how it feels when it's up in an inversion. And we can walk our feet closer to our bodies here in our pose if that feels good for us, or we can just simply just hang out, just noticing how the pose feels within the body. Dolphin, four more breaths.
two breaths. Put down that dolphin, flowing back to that down dog, gazing at the feet. As we flow to a three-legged, breathing that right leg up in the air, nice and high, three-legged dog. Feeling that stretch. Gonna breathe that right knee to that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, flowing back to three-legged. We're gonna breathe that right foot forward, coming into a pigeon. Breathing that right foot forward, crossing it in front of the body, pigeon pose. Right foot's to the front, that left leg's to the back. Pigeon pose. This pigeon prepares the body for split. <sighs> Noticing how this pigeon feels within the body. Using our palm to keep our torso away from that thigh. Our heart chakra's open, our chin is up. Two more breaths. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back forward as we come into a sleeping pigeon, allowing our torso to relax over that front thigh, crossing our palms in front of us if that feels good. Shoulders and head melts forward. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. This pigeon pose is a relaxation pose. It also preps the body for split. We're going to hang out here, five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Using our palms to push our bodies up, slowly awakening from that sleeping pigeon. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder. Noticing how that feels. We're going to connect this left hand to the back of that left leg as we gaze over that left shoulder, seeing how this feels. If all feels well, we're going to lift that left foot up in the air, coming into that king pigeon or mermaid pose. We can use our strap if that feels good for you. I didn't bring a strap up here today, but you'll wrap that strap around your foot and hold on to that strap here to get into that pigeon or that mermaid, that king pigeon or mermaid. Now, king pigeons, feet, feet the leg is further behind your back. Mermaid, the leg is slightly off towards the side and is cuffed in your elbow. They look very similar, yet they are not the same. One is a king pigeon and one is a mermaid. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, slowly relaxing that foot, letting it go straight. Coming back forward, straightening that body here in that pigeon pose. Taking a couple breaths. As we gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale back to center, untucking that foot. We're gonna come to down dog, gazing at the foot, gazing at the feet. Feeling that stretch as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we flow to three-legged pigeon opposite sides, left foot flows up in the air nice and high, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. We're going to breathe that left elbow to that uh, knee, knee to left elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. We are building strength, working those abdominals as well. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Two more breaths. 
Breathe in. Exhale, pigeon up as a side. We're gonna flow that left foot forward. Breathing in, breathing in, in front of us. Right leg is out towards the back. Feeling that stretch. Prepping the body for our split. Using our palms to lift our torsos away from our thighs. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale back to center. As we flow into our sleeping pigeon opposite side, allowing that torso to relax down, crossing those palms, hands in front of you. Shoulder blades melt forward, head comes downward towards the hands. We're going to relax and soothe here with our eyes closed, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out of that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to lift our torsos away from our thigh. We're going to slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that twist. Connecting this right hand to the back of our right leg, just noticing how that feels. If all feels well, we're gonna lift that right foot up, connecting that right foot inside of that right hand. We can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid, optioning to use the yoga strap to help us get into the pose. The heart chakra opens, the chin is up, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and relaxing that leg, twisting the body back forward, we're back in neutral. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that twist. Exhaling back forward, untucking that toe, coming to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, feeling that full body stretch. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings, head melts down. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, backs are straight. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance, we're gonna flow into a rag doll. Coming back down to that complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our elbows. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side. Noticing that when you rock and sway from side to side, you'll feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. We are lengthening and we are stretching when we are in this rag doll swaying that body. Take a nice subtle breaths, feeling the pose, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, half forward fold. Slightly gaze forward. Exhaling up to our wide legged standing to Dasana. Our toes are pointing outward towards the side, the edges. We're going to bend our knees, coming down to cactus hands. Goddess stance. We are working on building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here. We are working the, the quads, the gluteus maximus. And we can option to pulse up and down, or we can rock from side to side here in this goddess God stance. We are firming and we are toning the lower parts of our bodies, prepping our legs for our summer jeans, our summer shorts. 
Feeling a burn, four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down, feeling that stretch. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up, wide legged, half forward fold, backs are straight, gaze forward. Toes are pointed outward to the edges of the mat. We're going to bend those knees, cactus hands, goddess stance, continuing to work that lower part of the body. As we breathe our palms above our head, and that salute, chin is up. Exhale, a prayer, palms come heart center. We are in that goddess God prayer hands. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up, standing star, straight to the nose, legs. Palms come out towards the side, standing star. That heart chakra's open, that chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed down with a closed. Feeling nice, strong, and powerful here in our star. We are shining brightly. No matter what, no matter where we are, we are going to be our light. We're going to be our shine at the end of the tunnel. Always standing tall, always standing firm. Keeping that heart chakra open, keeping that chin always up. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Coming back to that goddess stance, bending those knees, cactus hands. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, white legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down towards the earth. Two more breaths. Walking those hands forward, feet together, down dog. Walking our dog, by pedal on our feet, left and right. Tummies are nice and tight. Finding our pause, shifting our weight forward, high plank. Lowing down to low plank if that feels good. Chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale onto our tummies, coming back into that Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we relax our bodies, breathe in our hands in front of us, coming into that Superman, Supergirl. Feet, styles are off the earth, hands are off the earth. This is a slight back bend. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. We're going to swim our hands to the back, coming into that locust pose. Palms are facing upwards towards the heavens, if that feels good. Feet, thighs are still off the earth. This is a slight back bend. Chin is up. Two more breaths. As we flow into a bow pose, maybe a half bow, connecting that right hand to that right ankle, half bow, full bow, left hand to left ankle. <sighs> Using our hands to lift our torso even further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Our heart chakras open. Our chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body, coming back into that locust pose. Feet and hands are off the earth. Two more breaths. We're going to hold this locust pose. and We're going to come into a sleeping locust, just allowing the body to relax downward, coming onto that forehead, the third eye chakra. Shoulders melts forward. We are in that sleeping locus. Allowing the eyes to gaze down. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. 
four breaths. Let's make it five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhale in, awakening out of that sleeping locust. We are back in that locust pose. Two breaths. Feeling this slight back bend. Swimming out arms forward, Superman, Supergirl. Coming back to that Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms, shoulders are away from the ears. Chin is up. This is a slight back bend. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Two more breaths. Eyes are slightly gaze down. Exhale into our baby cobra palms or next to our torso. Elbows are bent. As we come to our cobra, straightening those elbows, chin is up. Exhale to our hands and our knees. We are in that tabletop. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth as we drop down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale, cat. Chin comes to clavicle. Coming back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming on to our buttocks. We're going to float onto our backs, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing the shoulders to melt back into the yoga mat. Feeling the body relax and soothe as we lift our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pole or invisible wall as our toes point upwards towards the heaven. Feeling that stretch, that ballerina's foot. We're going to reach our hands downward towards our feet. <sighs> Feeling that stretch as we allow our legs to come towards our torso. Maybe our buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back, legs on the wall. Coming into a wide legged, allowing the legs to fall apart. Feeling this stretch here in the inner thighs. Just relaxing and soothing. We can connect our hands to our toes if that feels good. Two more breaths. Mm. Breathing our legs back together, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Allowing our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Feel the neck spinal cord soothe and decompress. Knees flows to the left. Right arm comes out to the side. We can gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder. Oh. As our shoulder blades are melted into the yoga mat, our eyes are closed. Our bodies feel relaxed and soothed. And our recline spinal twist. And our recline spinal twist may we relax here, solid meditation by natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As our knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, feeling that spine soothe and decompressed. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. With our shoulder blades melted back into the yoga mat. As our body soothe and relax. Eyes are gazed down with closed. 
As we relax, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we flow into a happy baby, feet comes up in the air. This is a hip opener here. Bringing our hands between our thighs, if that feels good, out to the edges, connecting the hands to the feet. We are in that happy baby. Noticing how this feels inside of the inner thighs. We are opening up those hips. It also relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. We can option to rock the body from side to side. Noticing how that feels. Noticing how that feels on your spine. Allowing it to massage and relax. Four more breaths. We can rock or stay still. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, breathing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, reaching our hands down to the backs of our feet, breathing our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth, two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing the knees into the chest, allowing the feet to come flat on the earth, knees are in the air. We are going to work on our bridge pose. Palms are on the earth next to our buttocks. Flat on the earth. We're going to lift our gluteus maximus off the earth. Killing that gluteus maximus crunch. Here in our bridge, we are working on lifting and rounding that buttocks here. We can come deeper in this bridge by bringing our hands underneath our buttocks and interlacing our fingers and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. Our chest comes higher in the air when we do this. And our hips comes higher in the air as well. We are in that deep bridge. And we can pulse up and down if that feels good, or we can just pulse it up and squeeze it nice and tightly. Whatever feels best for you, six natural breaths, bridge pose. Feeling that burn, three more breaths. Squeezing it nice and tight, two breaths. Pulsing it down and squeezing it back up nice and tight. We're gonna do a bonus, squeeze, squeeze. Feeling the burn, four breaths, two, one, exhale down. Breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. Allowing this to relax and smooth your gluteus maximus. Straightening our legs, coming into a Shavasana, legs or parallel side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting. As our feet fall to the sides like a V, completely relaxing our, our feet here. With the shoulders melted to the earth, eyes are gazed down to close. Shavasana, six natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths. We're going to roll on our side, coming into a fetal pose, fetal position, relaxing and soothing. Five breaths. Two more breaths.
slowly wiggling our toes, wiggling our toes, rotating our feet and our ankles, moving our buttocks and our hips as we awaken that body, using that top hand to lift our bodies up. If that feels good, we can option to stay in our fetal pose. We're going to flow into a seated pose of choice. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. May you find any position that feels good for you as we are winding down our practice teaching session here today. We may find a pose that feels good for us. If we're in our seated pose, our backs are straight, our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. The shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Our eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed, if that feels good for you. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Breathing our palms and heart center, coming into a seat of prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our salutes, fingertips flows upwards. Coming into that seated extended mountain, separating those palms. Twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth. Gazing over that right shoulder. Seated twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Coming into our seated star. Palms are out towards the side. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Seated twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Noticing that star, the palms are slightly outward towards the side. Notice in that seated extended mountain, palms are above the head, but they are not together. Seated extended mountain. In that seated salute, palms are together. As we flow to our prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Breathe in. Exhale. I would like to thank you all so much for allowing me to practice teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.